What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao back with another Clash of Clans video. Now I'm on my account, hashtag Yao Squad, uh, and I wanted to go through a defensive loss that I had last night, uh, or I should say this morning depending on your time zone. Uh, and if you watch one of my earlier videos, I had a really clutch 49% defensive win. That's right, 49% defensive win. Now this loss was a 49% defensive loss at one star, so it could have been a lot worse. So as you can see, my current uh, cup count is at 49.69. I've dropped a little bit. Uh, the cups haven't been so great the last couple days, uh, plus a little bit of hard defensives. But again, it, a little bit comes down to luck. Uh, well, I should say a lot has to come down to luck. And obviously, you have to win some defenses too. So in this season, I haven't won any defenses yet. Um, which is kind of a shame, but it is what it is. It's how the game is. Uh, you win some, you lose some. So right now, you know, I'm ranked 40, uh, so I dropped a few spots. Um, but it's cool to see, you know, I have my Legend badge, and uh, I have my Legend trophies bank from last season. And, you know, so things are going good. Uh, I'll probably pick it up as the season goes along. It's still early. So let's take a look at the leaderboards right now. So up in Smoke Pie, still up there, uh, doing well. Uh, let's see some other bowlers moving up there too as well. Um, Tobias, I know his YouTube channel uh, is uh, kicking off, or not kicking off, but he's been around a while, so he's been trying to hit Legend. He has a uh, Road to Legend League uh, Series 2 as well, so I wish him the best of luck when he gets to 5,000. He only needs one trophy, and I'm sure you're going to see it on his YouTube channel. He supports my YouTube channel, so of course, you know, I got to show him some love there. Uh, as you can see, I dropped quite a bit, so I'm down to 40, uh, but I'll gain it back, I'll gain it back. So, you you, you guys know, I always do. Uh, you just gotta keep pushing, like I always said, patience and focus. So, I'm number 5 in the US lo uh, local rankings, 49-69. Zero wins, but it's uh, on defense, but it's okay. Uh, I have two accounts in the top 10, Jorge Yao still dropped a little bit too on that account. Some hard defenses and just basically not a lot of cups these last couple of days. Um, I don't know what's happening, but maybe it's a common day that I'm playing, but, you know, just haven't been finding a lot of cups. Pretty much just one cup offers and then either a one star or a two star on defense. So not really ne netting positive like I'd hoped for. But let's go ahead and actually get into the meat of things. So let's go to my defensive block. So as you can see, negative 19, negative 16, negative 19. And then as you see, that negative 32 really hurt me. So that set me back a lot. So I was... I actually number one in the world for maybe half a day or even less than that, maybe half a session, a few hours, but it was still pretty gratifying because, uh, you know, you get a little bit nostalgic when you were previously number one and you hit that number one spot. So, you know, I, I did an earlier video on that when I did hit number one, so you guys be sure to check that out. But as you can see, you know, all one star losses, uh, but look at this clutch. So I'll show you the one from before, that clutch one cup win. From uh, this guy, 141, he lost at 49% and gave me one cup. Now this is, so I guess karma <laughs> it happens and uh, I got negative 19, one star, 49%. So this guy was probably kicking himself because this could have easily been a negative 38. So let's watch this replay really quick and I'll commentate on, on the strategy. So I've been using the same exact base, I'll pause it right now been using the same exact base so I think it's time for me to actually change bases because this base is overused people know know about it people know how to attack it um, I've been using this base basically for the last I don't know like two months and it's been holding up pretty well um, but again you know I haven't went, won any defenses this season and you know at the top levels you know once you use a base like last week's base is pretty much already useless because everyone knows about it once once they know about it you know, um, people will learn how to attack it basically. So, um, and the more people that have it, the more chances you have to practice on it. So let's go ahead and actually uh, commentate this battle. So he uses Lava Lunian. Uh, Lava Lunians are pretty much guaranteed one star. It's a pretty strong uh, attack. He attacks from, so one thing that I wanted to note is he attacks from the top left side. And the reasoning why I think he does that is because he wants to take out the clan castle. Now, I, I explained this in my drag video why that happens, because when you take out the clan castle, nothing comes out later on. So that really, really affects air attackers, because with air attackers, 
the last two things that you always drop are your king and your queen, and that's your cleanup basically. That's that's your golden ticket to getting the two stars. So um, having a, a lava hound in there or a golem come out when your king and your queen are trying to go for the two star, usually you won't be able to get it because uh, the golem or the lava hound will stall your king and your queen. So as an air attacker, because of the new changes last update, where the lava hound does no no longer uh, targets air troops. You want to try to take out the clan castle using the air troops that you have. Um, that way nothing comes out when you try to drop your king and your queen. So let's go ahead. So that's my theory behind why he's attacking from top left. He's attacking from clan castle side, plus it's a single target inferno. He probably freeze that a little bit too early because it's a single target inferno. Don't really need to freeze it. Um, he drops the monkey, uh, not the monkey, excuse me, the, the Mickey Mouse ear of... Uh, a little bit too uh, too late, I would say. Um, there wasn't anything really affecting it. Um, but this base is really good at funneling, as you can see, the lava hounds or not lava hounds, excuse me, the balloons from the core. So it goes, you know, you see the balloons going from bottom left to top right instead of going straight to the core. So he kind of wasted that rage spell, um, but it's okay. He took out the clan castle, which is really important. He took out the single target inferno, which is really important uh, in terms of. Uh, dropping the king and the queen for the two star. So right now he has he's at 46% and he has a hard decision to make. Do I go and take the risky, you know, two star? So he's trying to use his uh, cleanup crew right now to basically get the e the one star 50%. So it could set his mind at ease and kind of go for the two star with the heroes. So he drops the wall breakers to break through the first layer of walls. He tries to go for the second layer of walls. Um, so he drops his king. So he does this, I don't know if he's learned this from one of my uh, YouTube videos, but he drops the king first, uh, which does the cleanup, but uh, he, so he goes over and he kind of goes around the core and pops his ability, um, and that's really just cleanup. So he goes in, he attacks, the queen is so lucky actually because she didn't funnel, usually the queen would funnel, and look at that, look how close that is, look how close that is. Like, that, this attack was so lucky because look at those skeleton traps coming out, like, and because she has her queen ability on, she's invisible, so she keeps targeting the town hall. But that's so lucky that, she, that it broke through the wall and she's going towards the town hall. Because normally what you see is um, the queen wandering to one side or the other and not going straight to the core. But because that king took out that one building right there, the, uh, her next available target or closest target is the town hall. So she actually goes straight to the core and as you can see, boom, town hall, GG, rip, one star, 49% and she's going in, She's the, the skeleton traps are coming in clutch because she probably could have easily taken out one of the Teslas for that extra 1% and she couldn't do it. So you know, that came in clutch. And no spells left, two minions and three archers. So he's like, oh man, all I need is 1%, 1%, and he gets another, what is it, 18 cups or 19 cups. So I know this guy was probably nervous, like, oh man, what should I do, what should I do? But as you can see, I'll pause it again, there's really not much you can really pick off here. Um, you got an air defense right there, you have another air defense right there, you have the archer towers, you have cannons. So there's really nothing free in terms of percentage-wise that you can pick off. But with two minions and three archers, you would think that uh, he would be able to at least pick off something that's pretty easy, like you know maybe the army camp. Because uh, with one of the earlier updates uh, this year, the army camps were actually the health, the HP on those have been reduced. So if it were me and my strategy, I'd probably instead of dropping one unit at a time and seeing if that unit can slide by, I would drop the, I would spam one just to see if there's any traps that would trigger it. Uh, because if you spam all three archers and two minions, uh, you don't know if there's a bomb there or uh, or what else, like an air trap, which would have splash damage, which would take out the entire group of troops. So I'd probably put one archer down just to test, test that and maybe one minion. So that leaves me with two archers and one minion. And I think with two archers and one minion, you could probably, probably not, probably not, but you might be able to take, take out that dark spell factory. Who knows? Um, but let's see, let's uh, keep going with this replay. So he's thinking right now in his head, you know, how do I get this 1%? And, and, you know, as a player and being on the other side of this, I'm like, oh man, like this sucks. And he drops the archer and the two minions. 
and there you go. But look at it, like if you see the uh, army camp right there, it's down to like less, maybe a third health right now. So if he went through and probably spread out the three, I think it was three archers and two minions, spread them out around that army camp, he probably could have gotten it because that mortar does splash damage. So obviously if you group them together, the mortar is going to take out all the archers at once. And same with the uh, air defense, it's going to do that too as well. So, you know, if you spread them a little bit, you know, maybe uh, down here, like uh, on this side, instead of all grouped up right there where the gravestones are, maybe he would have been able to get it. But at, but then again, hindsight's 2020, and, you know, he'll take the 19 cups any day. So, but there you go, I showed you this replay. Uh, unfortunately, it was a loss, but thank God it wasn't a negative 38 because that would have set me back so far. Negative 38, another 18 cups, would I would be at 49, what, 51? 51, yes, that's correct math right there. Uh, wait, was that 19 cups or, yeah, no, 19 cups, so it would be 49, 50, which drops me down really, really low. I don't know why I keep popping these things, but they're just so much fun to pop. Supercell does a good design with that. When you see them, you just want to pop them. <laughs> so, but there you go. Um, you know, I wanted to show you that because it's just ironic that I won a defense at 49% and then I lost a defense at 49%, but it was still clutch in my opinion. I still think it's clutch because it saved me from, a, you know, an additional 19 trophies. And this week especially, um, the cups have been really, really bad for me. You really need to win defenses. Now, you know, if you look at the top player, Up and Smoke Pie has won three defenses already. Like, most of the top players have at least won one, except for Dawood. Uh, has, they have won at least one defense, which goes a long way in terms of, you know, progressing in Legend League or, you know, in the ranks at all. So, huge, huge important to be able to win on defense. So, I think I'm going to switch up this base. Um, this is obviously a troll base, uh, I'm not using it quite right now, but, um, obviously. But I'll probably, uh, probably use a different base. If you guys actually have any base suggestions for a Town Hall 10, um, that you guys have seen, you know, good bases that, uh, you know, you've seen, uh, if you're a cup pusher and you've seen some good bases that are, uh, that are usable, that are kind of unique, um, because I think with unique bases, um, people aren't used to attacking them, so they usually don't know what to do, and that's when they end up losing. So that's usually your best shot at winning a defense, is if you have a base that's unique, and you know you leave the player scratching their head like, okay, what do I do here now? Uh, maybe this will work, maybe that won't work. When you have a base that's commonly used, people already know how to attack it. It, com it kind of comes second nature. So if you guys have any sort of like cool bases or any sort of like good base design, feel free to, uh, to let me know and uh, maybe, you know, uh, I can get your Twitter or we can uh, link up and you can message me, um, you can add me on, you know, Snapchat or anything like that. Uh, all my contact details in terms of my social media are all down at the info page of the, this video, so uh, make sure you check that out and you can reach out to me. But yeah, I'm looking for new base designs. I'm not the ba best base designer. I've never been and I, I never will so usually I try to get bases from other people that have been tested um, and yeah that's it so that does it for this video I just wanted to highlight that because it was kind of ironic and you know karma kind of kind of comes into play with this video so there you go this is Jorge Yao uh, I'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to comment like and subscribe peace out guys